there, thanks for tuning in, I'm Valerie. Welcome to my channel. So I'm really excited to share with you today one of my very favorite yoga poses ever. <laughs> it's restorative yoga and it is a pose that is common to almost every yoga class you will attend no matter what style. Well, I haven't done every style of yoga, but from the ones that I have done, I've done this pose in every class. Any ideas as to what this pose could be? It's Shavasana or Corpse Pose. And so today you'll be learning how to set up restorative style supported Shavasana. So if you plan to stay in this pose for longer than five minutes, the recommendation is to have a bit of support for your body. If you've ever been to a class where you practice unsupported shavasana, so just flat on your mat with no propping. What you may notice is a little bit of tenderness in the back of your head or maybe in your low back. For me, I have one knee that hyperextends and so I don't, if I don't have any support under that knee or under both knees, um, then I, it, I don't know, it just feels a little achy. So this is how to practice restorative style shavasana. Um, the recommendation is for however long you can dedicate, of course, um, but somewhere around 10, 15, 20 minutes would be fantastic. 20 minutes a day for restorative yoga. Now, if you are familiar with this pose, this will probably be uh, just a refresher for you. If you have never practiced restorative yoga, then dive right in. Here's, here's where you start. If you do have a more of an active practice, um, something like supported Shavasana, even if you can just do it once a week, can help your body to start to heal and restore. Just this 20 minutes spent in comfortable, supported silence is very therapeutic. If you have a more active practice, like even like a power yoga practice, gentle yoga practice, if you weight train, if you do CrossFit, if you bike, if you're a swimmer, whatever you got going on, if, even if you have nothing going on, and this is your yoga practice, if you have some, some injuries or practicing you know, more active styles of exercise doesn't work for your body, you can still find that peace, that comfort, that um, connection that really is at the heart of a yoga practice. So I recommend this for everybody. Definitely a pose that I try to practice daily. So do what works for your body, modify where you want to, and I hope you enjoy the pose. Okay, so first of all, here's what you will need. Um, I like to practice the pose with at least four blankets. I'm sitting on one, so four blankets and a bolster. If you don't have these props around your house, know that you can use um, a throw, like a throw blanket. Um, you can use really thick pillows or even thick towels that you have. So just get creative, try to make some shapes that are similar to this. Um, okay, so here we go. The first piece is going to be a support for your ankles. So you want to make a rolled blanket. This is more of a yoga style blanket and it's folded three times in half. And so we start with a little fold and then a roll. <clears throat> so you make a tight roll that goes at the foot space of your mat and it will support underneath the Achilles tendon, allowing the feet to relax. Next you'll take your bolster or even a pillow rolled with you know another towel over it which can make a similar shape to this rolled bolster. That will go towards the middle of your mat. This can even just be you know like two more blankets rolled into each other to make that kind of shape. Okay, so next you will need some head support. Okay, so for the head support, this is the trickiest restorative yoga blanket fold. <laughs> Forewarning, but it is very supportive. If you do get tight through your neck or through the, the back part of your head, this fold is very gentle and very supportive and I have a feeling that you'll like it. Okay, so from the three fold, you fold this in half, the short way now, not the long way, but the short way and you get a shape that looks like this. So you'll want to keep a little bit of a tail down at the bottom so the top half is a bit shorter. 
take the corners of the top half and you fold them in so you get a shape that looks like this. It's kind of like a love letter or an envelope shape. <laughs> so that's what we're looking for. Okay, this will go at the head space with the big folded edge facing away from you. Okay, so with this love letter shape, we get support for the tip of the back of the shoulders, neck support, this gentle support right to left, and head support. So if you know that when you sleep, you roll your head right to left, chances are when you get to a pose like supported Shavasana, you might experience something similar. So this is a great pose to keep the head supported and in place. Okay, so um, for me, I have a sensitive back, very flexible back, and I like to have a little bit of extra support for my back when I practice Shavasana. So this next piece is definitely optional. If you are good to go and you, you don't you know, have sensitivity in the back, then take this piece out. But if you have noticed when you get into Shavasana or when you lay flat on your back, you get a little tightness in your low back, then here's a great propping to add into your Shavasana. Okay, so it is one little tiny fold at the bottom of the blanket. So here's how, and this tiny fold will support the low back. So that very gentle curve in the back of your body will support right here. Now the last blanket, the fourth blanket, for me, I like to cover up in the pose because it just feels really good. If you're hot natured, that may not sound good to you at all. So leave that piece out. Um, if you do have any kind of like tummy troubles going on, use the blanket just in the tummy area. For women, if you're on your moon cycle, that gentle little press of that blanket into the belly may feel really nice, something to think about. Okay. So to get into the pose, we find ankle support, knee support. This blanket comes right underneath the low back. We find this elongation, lean back, and neck support. Okay, and then for me, I would put a blanket here on the belly and come to here. Now the arms can be out to the side, palms facing up so that your fingers can relax. Or you can even bring your hands to your belly. Make sure all those curves through the back of your body are supported. So ankles, knees, low back, back of the neck. And you allow your eyes to close right here. You sink all of your weight down into this support. And you just feel this natural wave of your body against your props. You allow your back body to feel heavy and rooted. And you allow your front body to feel bright and open and expansive. When you're ready to come out of the pose, as you exhale, you gently press your tailbone to your props. Bend your knees so the soles of your feet can come to your bolster, and then roll your body to the side. Spend a few moments here, and then press into the strength of both hands, both arms, to come back to upright. Okay, so come back gently from the pose. Um, do take the next few moments to blink your eyes open and close to kind of move and stretch and let your body wake up before you transition into whatever it is that comes next. So that's it, supported restorative style Shavasana. If you do practice the pose, let me know how it goes in the comments down below. And I wish all of you much peace and restoring for your bodies. Thanks for tuning in. Namaste.